Today, we're taking a look at our macro bellows for Canon R cameras. This bellows system mounts between a Canon R camera and a Canon R lens. And then you simply turn this wheel to extend the macro bellows to increase the magnification of the lens. You can go all the way out for extreme, extreme magnification, or you can start at the very minimum for just slight magnification. This macro bellows system has a very durable design. You've got nice metal rails, nice metal mount. Uh, as you can see, this is where you mount the camera. This is where you mount the lens on the front. And like I was showing you, you turn this wheel to increase the size of the bellows, increase the magnification of your lens. And then over on this side, we actually have measurements showing how far out you've gone. And then you can simply use this locking pin and that locks your bellows in place so they don't move at all. So once you get to the amount of bellows you want, you just rotate that to lock it in place. And then on the bottom here, we've got a quarter 20 tripod mounting point. Uh, you can put your tripod plate right there. And we do actually have these two stabilizer feet. These are designed to engage with the plate, with the tripod plate that you put down to lock it in place and give it a little bit more stability. And that's about it. It's a fairly simple system. Now this is a more budget system, so it's not gonna have some of the features of some of the higher end macro bellows. It's not gonna have any camera movement or lens movement. But if you just want a simple macro bellows system, simple extension bellows for increasing your lens's magnification, this does the trick. Okay, let's mount a Canon R camera on our macro bellows system. This is the Canon EOS R100. This is the most affordable and cheapest uh, Canon R camera that Canon currently sells. And this is a very simple kit lens on the front here, the 18 to 45 millimeter. I want to show you a simpler, more budget camera setup to show you just how versatile this bellows is and how it'll work with pretty much any R camera or lens. Uh, we start by removing the lens from our R camera. We'll set that camera off to the side for now. We're gonna mount the R lens onto the macro bellows, line up the red mounting dot with the red mounting dot on the bellows and rotate it to lock it into place. And then if we wanna remove the lens from the bellows, we just slide this silver pin right here that disengages the locking pin and then we can remove the lens from the bellows. Now let's mount the lens and bellows on to our Canon R camera. Same thing, line up the red mounting dot with the red mounting dot on the camera and rotate it to lock it into place. There we go. Now we've got this EOS R100 attached to our bellows system and we can extend it very easily. Let's loosen the locking pin here. There we go. Can extend, extend out as far as we need. Uh, generally speaking, with this bellows, you're not gonna go, need to go out very far unless you're doing extreme close macro photography. Um, around here is for most of what you're need, gonna need to do unless you're doing very, very small subject. One important note, this is a fully manual macro bellows. It has no electronic communication pins, uh, so there's no communication between the lens and camera. So that means with a Canon R lens, you won't have any autofocus or electronic aperture control. Basically, your adapted R lens will open to its widest aperture and stay there, and the autofocus will just be locked. You won't be able to adjust it. So that is one of the limitations, but I found you actually can still get some pretty good results with this setup. Uh, you will have a shallower focus, obviously, because you can't stop down the aperture as much. Uh, but all of your focusing will actually be done with the bellows anyway. While you won't have aperture control, you'll still have plenty of focus control with the bellows. Uh, let's actually open the lens. For all these shots, I'm actually going to have the lens set to 45 millimeters. That'll get us the best results. Now, with the macro bellows closed all the way, I'm at a 45 millimeter macro extension. So that's actually a pretty large extension already. So for a lot of macro shots, you won't even have to extend it much farther than this. But for more extreme macro magnification, we can go out to 50 millimeters. We can go out to 60 millimeters, however far we need to go. And this is great for shooting incredibly close macro detail of subjects. For example, here are a couple of shots I made with this macro bellows camera and lens. I photographed this preserved cicada. Here's the first shot without the macro bellows, and this is the minimum focus I was able to pull off 
with just the lens and camera. As you can see, I'm not able to focus very close up. I'm not getting very good detail. But then with the macro bellows, I'm extended way out. I'm getting way, way close up, getting some really nice detail on the eyes. And here's some other subjects I photographed. Similarly, we're getting not much detail with the lens by itself because it can't focus that close. It's not a macro lens. But then with the macro bellows, we're getting incredibly nice close-up detail, really great macro photos. Now you may ask, how exactly does a macro bellows work? How am I able to turn a non-macro lens into a macro lens with a bellows? It's actually pretty simple. When you have your lens mounted on your camera normally, the lens is designed to focus to infinity. It's designed to focus super far away so you can get a sharp landscape photo. It's also designed to focus close up to some degree, but with a lot of lenses, you're not going to have a macro focus option, so it's only gonna focus to a couple feet. That'll be its minimum focus. But when you add a macro bellows or a macro tube, uh, any sort of space between the lens and camera, it's actually increasing the macro magnification of the lens. The lens can now focus much closer up, but it can't focus to infinity anymore. So with this macro bellows, you can only do macro photography. You couldn't do a portrait shot. You couldn't do a landscape. It's only going to focus closer up. But it's a really useful way to turn a non-macro lens into a macro lens. You're just simply adding that space, which is increasing the magnification of the lens and allowing you to use it as a macro lens. Now, I'm not great at math, but luckily online, there are some nice macro tube calculators. They also work just as well for a macro bellows. And let's do the math right now with this lens camera and let's say a 50 millimeter extension and see how much it is increasing the magnification of this lens. Okay, I looked up the lens that we're using and in the specs, it says the maximum magnification is 0.16x. So now let's go to our macro calculator. We're gonna do 0.16. Our focal length is 45 millimeters, and we are using 50 millimeters of macro bellows. So if we calculate that, our new magnification is 1.27x, and our new closest focusing distance is 182.6 millimeters. Online macro extension calculators like this are a really useful way to figure out how much magnification you're gonna get with the lens that you're using on a macro tube or macro bellows, and I'll link this calculator in the description below. Okay, that was a quick look at our macro bellows for Canon R cameras. If you'd like to learn more about this bellows system and maybe get one for yourself, click the link in the description below. Also click the link in the description below to check out our entire line of macro bellows, as well as our entire line of macro extension tubes, uh, macro helicoid adapters. We have a whole selection of macro gear for your photography and video needs, and you can check it out in the link below. Also comment below if you have any questions about anything I said in today's video, I'd love to talk to you. Also, also <laughs> click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and have fun shooting with macro bellows.